Thank you, Scott. We are cooking with fire out here at East 103rd in St. Clair. Station 30 here with Battalion Chief Andy Gorsky. How you doing, man? Good, Todd. How are you? Oh, thank you so much for having us out here. It's been really fun to see all the different fire departments and some of the cool things that are going on. This, You guys are the busiest ladder in the whole city, right? Uh, that's correct. And yeah. what, what, why is that? What makes it so different for you? Um, well, I mean, we cover the northeast side of the city. Yeah. Uh, so we cover from uh, east 185th to east 55th, and then as far south as the hospitals. Yeah. So it's just a large area. So okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a big normal Big area. And you would have a lot of higher buildings out in this part of the town too. It yeah? is, yeah. yeah. The population base here it keeps us busy. Yeah. So. How hard is how high does that ladder go? Uh, well, it's 105 feet. Okay. So it gets used a lot. Yeah. Uh, these guys are excellent with it. So you know, every house fire that we go to, they're, they're typically putting the aerial. That's awesome. And you got a great story. You come from a, a firefighter family, right? That's correct. Yeah. Let's walk a little bit. Then. Sure. Uh, so uh, you're. Brother is a firefighter here in, in Cleveland. That's correct. Yeah, I have uh, one brother here in Cleveland and another one in Cleveland Heights. And your dad was a firefighter. Yeah, that's correct. He's a retired captain from Westlake. Is this home for you? Uh, well, Being in the fire station? Yeah. So I started my career in this battalion, in the 6th Battalion, uh, one station to the south. And then, you know, it's great to come back here as, as a battalion chief and, and get back to where I started, so to speak. That's awesome. So, Let's talk a little about this ladder truck. Let's bring in Lieutenant Holman. And uh, so just some of the different things you guys have and some of the accessories that are available to you. Yeah, what we have, we have, uh, we have an electric powered fan here to clear any smoke from inside someone's house that maybe it got smoked up, a building, something like that. We have portable lighting. Obviously, there's not going to be lights in some places we go. This is some of the newer stuff we have, some battery powered uh, equipment that we, that we have that doesn't require power. It's a little more portable. Uh, we have chains, different things like that. Uh, we have a lot of accessories here for like the lake. We have flotation devices, rope for any kind of rope rescue we'd have here on the lake. Let's zip around the other side of the truck too, because you got a lot over there, and and uh, I, I know that you got the jaws of life out. So I want to see those. Let's talk about all the different ladders too that we have. Yeah, so we have a we have a whole variety of different size ladders for different situations. Not every situation would call for the, the giant aerial. We can't yeah. get get to things. Uh, so we have like a it's called a jack ladder. This is just like a small little ladder that we can use like inside somebody's house. Yeah. Um, we have a ladder specifically designed to go onto a roof that will hook okay. the peak of the roof. These yeah. hooks kind of pop out. Gotcha. Hooks the peak of the roof. Um, and these are actually from hook and ladder. So these are our ladders and uh, these are our hooks. Yep. That's, that's where it comes from. So Let's you, you mentioned some of the jaws of life and I want to come around and, and show a little bit of that uh, because this is an important part of getting people out of vehicles, helping with situations. Uh, and I'm going to get dressed up. Why don't you talk a little bit about the jaws of life. Tell us where okay. I'm so what we have is this is our hydraulic, this is our power unit. This is what would power the, 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 the jaws of life. Um, we have two different styles, basically. We have, these would be called, these are what we use for cutting. These would be like the shears for cutting something. And then over here, we have a different, more for spreading. So this would be for like spreading something open, and that would be for more for cutting. So these would be more like the, the, the jaws of life would be this. But more, more often than not, we use the shears for about anything, so. All right. Guys, I'm getting ready. They're suiting me up. All right, just get we gotta, the gear we out We got to see these jaws of life in action. Now, are, are these fairly easy to use? I'm mean, obviously a lot of training. I got oh, a little yeah. briefing on this earlier. Let's start this out here. Oh, there we go. All right. So uh, I'm going to show you guys, uh, Christy and Wayne, what this is all about. Cool. All right. All right, Jaws of Life in action. This is what they do. That's what it's all about here at Station 30. They use the ladder truck. They use these Jaws of Life. All right. There. Oh, my gosh, that's heavy. Open them up. Yep. And then go on the other side. Over here? Yep. Where are you? Go on the other side. Over here? All right. Here we go, guys. This is what it's all about. Jaws of life in action. Oh, that's good stuff. My goodness. Yeah. There you go. Woo! Wow. That's good stuff. Like that was it. cool. <laughs> like it. That was cool. That's nice. Not only do they do important work here, life-saving stuff, they also have a lot of fun. We're going to show you some fun stuff coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. Back to you guys. I love wow. it, man. Very strong. I love it. I've never seen that in action. That's good stuff. That you, that, you know, they, and they use that to get into cars, you know, that, yeah. you know after accidents and stuff Very like that. Very important. Very